results? You got the score? They didn't get judged properly. We definitely should have won with this one. Disqualified. There is a mistake in the scores. There's a lot of politics in judges. Who goes to the judges and tries to take away their students' win? Abby. Look at this competition! It's a joke! Those judges should probably never work again. Hey, you know the show botched, you get it, that somebody went in for plastic surgery. All right, so this is like gauze. It's around you. You get it? It's not like a scarf. You don't really need to use I know, face. but you can't see my face. I know, because we are afraid you're going to ruin the dance with that face. The Bryn face, look. Look at me. OK. Let's go. Six, seven, eight. I lost I want Bryn to be the best that she can be. When she reveals her face behind that gauze, she should reveal a whole new Brit to the world. Somebody that uses her emotion, somebody who you look into her eyes and you can see the soul. That's what I want for Brynn. This routine may be the big breakthrough for her. Brynn has a lot on the line. It's make it or break it. She has every opportunity to be a star. But yet, I get nothing. Just think how good she can be if she used her face. Up next, we have Bryn performing Botched. So, was a breakthrough solo for Brynn. I think the judges made a huge mistake. I don't know what dances they were watching, but it wasn't the same ones that I was. Those judges should probably never work again. That's how bad they were. Maddie, you will be doing a solo this weekend. The name of your routine is Be Anything. And my last solo will be going to Chloe. Chloe, the name of your solo is called You Can. I have something crazy planned. I've decided that Maddie and Chloe should do the same exact solos. Why? Because I am sick and tired of hearing Christy go on and on about the choreography. If you want to do what Maddie's doing, game on. Wait, play yours. Wait, what happened? The same. It is the same. We're in the den, and Maddie decides to play her solo music. And I'm like, whoa. That's Chloe's solo music. So then it finally hits me that Abby is giving the two of them the exact same solo. Chloe, turn around, get in front of the door. She's not letting them watch each other. This is weird. I know. I'm sorry to see them both working on a solo at the same time. The judges will be like, didn't I just see this dance? This is a toss up. And I think both of them want this bad. They're both dancing great. Maddie and Chloe's solos are up soon. This is a big, big moment for both of them. This is Chloe's moment. This is her opportunity to step out there and take that spotlight. Chloe danced beautifully. And if I were Melissa and Maddie, I'd be worried. Thank you. Oh, get away. 
Maddie bobbled one of her turns, but she did dance beautifully. But I think she could have done better. What happened? Oh, my feet are bad. All of them. Every single one. The Elite High Point Awards for the Junior Division in the Junior Solo category. Second place, entry number 20 from Abby Lee Dance Company, Be Anything. And in first place, entry number 19 from Abby Lee Dance Company, You Can. I'm so happy for Chloe. This is a huge boost to her confidence, and it just proves to Abby once and for all that Chloe is a force to be reckoned with. And we had a goof. One of our judges, they gave Chloe a 99.10. She actually had a 96.6 because they gave her a 27.5 in a category that only had 25 points. That means that the overall winner would have been Maddie. Congratulations, Maddie. Maddie and Chloe, congratulations on being great sports. Mistakes happen. The director of the competition told us that there was a mistake in the scores and that um, I didn't really win in Maddie one, and I was a little upset, but I was really happy for Maddie. So, Abby, how did you discover the discrepancy between the 30 point and the 25 point? I didn't, that came to me. I guess the judges said there's a problem. Once again, you know, this doesn't happen that often at all, but I wanted to say thank you for bringing it to our attention. The group routine takes place in a hospital waiting room. We have done amazingly well with our group routines at Nationals. We want this season to top every other season. So imagine if your family, your loved ones, were brought in by ambulance from a car accident. So imagine waiting to hear the news. Is it happy news? Or is it the worst humanly possible news? All right, do it again for me. The group number, it's more than a dance routine. I would call it a piece. There's an emotional range. There's interaction between the dancers. Maddie is playing our lead. It's heavy. Can she pull it off? Let's hope so, because she's the only choice I have. Nationals is finally here. So much is riding on this week's group dance. The elite team has won Nationals several years in a row. So I want our girls to do their absolute best. Come on, guys. This is it. Season five, it's been a rocky road. But we go out there, we do what the Abby Lee Dance Company is known for. That's coming to Nationals and winning. All right, let's go. Please welcome in small group, the Lady Group. It was so moving. I had goosebumps. There's people behind me in tears, crying. All righty. In our overall small group category, in second place, the waiting room, Abby Lee Dance Company. OK, we, we, I'm sorry. But girls, we need to walk out. I'm done. It's embarrassing. I was just shocked. We can't win all the time, but I thought we definitely should have won with this one. Let's go. Go that way. You can't do it. Yes, they can. It's yeah. illegal. One more, one more. You can't hold children against their will in the state of California. I think Abby's lost her mind again. So, Abby, we had a very big dramatic, emotional ending to the season. The two big top lines were Ava beat Maddie and that the ALDC team group came in second. So tell us about it. What are your feelings? OK, fixed. Explain that to us. 
So ladies, anybody else? It was a disastrous nationals for us. Our kids danced and looked great, but they didn't get judged properly. I think it was orchestrated. No question, the award ceremony was not run well. But to critique a competition that we went to and say it's fixed, absolutely disgraceful. I have never heard us say something was fixed when we win. When we lose, all of a sudden, a competition's fixed. So That's to all those kids across. that won, it's a joke. I think the competition was a joke. If they want to feel like they're fabulous because they won, let them feel Well, that they way. did win. They had the highest score. They won. Everything was all screwed up at Nationals. Like, they had no credibility by the time they ended up giving all of their awards out because they were giving kids awards that weren't in that category. We agree that the Master of Ceremony seemed a bit confused and was very nervous. A bit? A bit's an understatement. This was Nationals, Jeff. Fair enough, fair enough. That's not fair to our kids. Fair enough. Here's the thing that I don't understand. You guys walked out of the award ceremony. Why? Awards were over. The kids awards were finished. Awards were not over. Yes, they were. They were not over. When Melissa wanted to leave, they had announced second overall. So did you think it was the end and they weren't going to announce first overall? Or were you I being said, a sore loser and you wanted to get up and walk out? No, we I wasn't. We thought the competition was over. We waited until the end. No, nope, Melissa. Sat through the hall. Melissa was the first one that was. I it was sat not there over. And nope. said, we're leaving. You nope. look like sore losers. And that's why the crowd yeah. booed you when you walked out. Holly and Jess, you chose not to walk out. Right. right. So, because of the fact that we don't want to destroy this man's reputation, Frank, who is the owner of this competition, we ask him to come back and talk to you. Let's take a look at this and see what he said. I just wanted to come in and say, uh, you know, we try to put on a very, very fair competition. Um, if I didn't, word would, would get out immediately like wildfire, and I would have no business. I don't fix anything for anybody. My job is to run the best possible event, and I would hate for you to think that there's something going that, that's oh, wrong. Oh, we do not. Zero. You know, I'm so I mean, sorry you got caught in a crossfire. Oh, I'm, I'm not worried about it. You supported this man for four years, and now all of a sudden his competitions are fixed. Because we've won nationals four years in a row. And those weren't fixed. Well, I don't know, Jess. Now, no, I have we no know, idea. No, we question we everything. if they were it. or weren't. I mean, you just questioned it when you lost. Did you go to those competitions in the past? No, never. We've never been to a Frank competition? Yeah, we have. At Abby's request, we went to his competition. All right, up next in the junior solo division, we have entry number 17. This is Fallon's opportunity to make an impression. I want to see how she handles the spotlight and also how she handles the pressure. This is Fallon with Voices in My Head. for me. She just forgot the whole dance and she's making all this crap up as she goes along. So, disqualify her. Well, we can't disqualify her for that reason. Abby's gonna yell at you, but listen to me. You know and I know, because we've seen them. I know you know it, and it's okay. That's why she started improv -ing. Oh, I didn't even see that. Long. She started improv -ing. She rolled over and heard it. And we were wondering what happened. I've never seen her do anything like this I since she's like... been dancing. It happens. It was not her time. Hey, ladies. Oh. Hi there. Oh, OK, here it comes. Hey, ladies, I just came in to tell your new little teammate how noble of you to keep dancing. That's what it's all about, doll. It's all about forgetting your dance and keep going. I would never run to the judge's station to try and have you disqualified, which is what Abby did. Yeah, 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 okay. You need to go, honey. She's not one of our students. Oh, oh, nice! How about that? She came in, learned her solo in two days like we do, and it wasn't great on stage. Where does it say in the rules that you have to learn your solo in two days? Our kids work their off day in, day out. And our kids under, don't. No, no, they don't. Leave. Leave. 
It's amazing the things that you guys are fed into your bubble heads. At least we don't have bubble butts. Oh, God. Slam it, slam it, slam it. I can't believe the audacity of Kathy coming into our dressing room. You know what, Kathy? Mind your own business. All right, Fallon. I'm very disappointed in you. We worked hard on that routine. You went out there. You forgot your dance. You were just bumbling around on the stage. I don't really need your side of the story. I don't really care what happened because the judges and the audience all think that you were a little kid who got in way over their head this week and forgot their dance. Don't cry, because you're gonna make me feel bad for yelling at you, all right? Get ready for the group, go ahead. In third place with a score of 276.3 points is Miss Fallon with act number 17, Voices in My Head. Fallon? ends up getting third place. Just imagine if she would have done the choreography that she was given. Chloe, you will be performing a lyrical solo entitled Lucky Star. Somebody's gonna go up against Chloe. She has a lot of fans out there. Cameron, come on out here. We're gonna see if you have what it takes. Your solo is contemporary and the name is Fate. Chloe, you have one more chance to prove that you are the very best Chloe that you can be. And roll, and step. You need to angle yourself to the back corner slightly because your judges may be over here. Once again in the dressing room, Abby's not even paying attention to Chloe. Chloe's in the corner, writing her solo on her own. But you know what? Chloe's been dancing for Abby since she was three years old. She's used to Abby playing favorites. All right, judges. We're moving to entry number 213, Cameron with Fate. And you will know where I have been. Brave dancing. I thought Cameron was pretty amazing. When she did that devil pay right at the beginning of the number, come on. We're moving to entry number 212, Chloe with Lucky Star. I love her solo, but I'm nervous to see her on stage. This really could be Chloe's toughest matchup yet. Every time I look up at the sky, there's much to see. Chloe danced beautifully. She's tall, she's statuesque. She did an amazing job. She came out there like a pro. In third place, 213 Fate. What? Of course, I'm disappointed that Cameron was third overall. I don't think she's ever been third. And in first place, drum roll please. Entry number 212, Lucky Star. At this point on the team, I don't know if there's ever been a bigger victory for Chloe because it couldn't have happened at a better time. And she proved not only to Abby, but more importantly to herself, that she doesn't deserve to dance in anyone's shadow. All right, give everyone a round of applause. You guys take a bow. Top of the pyramid is Chloe. <laughs> Chloe did an outstanding job with her solo. Two of the judges 
had Cameron Hire. One of the judges had oh. Chloe. So you questioned but, the judges? Uh, no, I looked at the score sheets. OK, wow. There's a nasty little rumor going around that you pulled the judges in and wanted to know why Chloe beat Cameron. No, I wanted to see the score sheets. OK. Chloe was great. Why are you arguing your kids on top of the pyramid? Of course Abby's gonna deny that she went to the judges because it makes her look like such a poor sport. And she is. Who goes to the judges and tries to take away their students' win? Abby. Hey, hello. hello. Christy, wow, I just wanted you to know that even though they don't have your back, I have your back. And Jody was saying that Abby was right about Chloe not supposed to win. I don't care what Jody thinks because oh, naturally Jody, you're gonna think care. what I said was it wasn't sabotage. Were you in the room? Do you know what she talked about? I don't really care what she talked about. She no, deserved but you know what you're making yourself look like right now? A really poor loser. No, I'm definitely yeah, not a poor are. loser. That nope. was what it was. Like, yes. So what? She got beat. Get over it. If you think that going to the judges to change the decision to benefit your daughter is the right thing to do, you're a bad person. I heard Abby went to the judges and said that Chloe shouldn't win. Is that true? Abby wasn't happy with the win. She doesn't know what they were watching on stage. And she felt yes. that Cameron should have won. Yes. Jody thought that Abby had every right to find out why someone won over someone else. But as it turns out, that's not why Abby went to the judges, according to Francisco. So she went to the judges and was campaigning against her own student and tried to get them to take away Chloe's win? Yes. This weekend, we are traveling to Detroit, Michigan. You know, you know who lives in Detroit, in Michigan. Ava and her mom, Jeanette. Kalani, you're doing a solo. You earned it. Maddie, you will also be performing a solo. This is the big showdown. Everybody's been waiting for it. But if the stalker's kid gets anywhere up there, even near you guys, look out. Lo and behold, the stalker and her posse. Don't say a word. Welcome. Welcome to Michigan. Hi, welcome to Michigan. Nice for you to join us. The whole world's been waiting for Abby Lee to put somebody good up against Maddie. This is a showdown between the two of you, and this is about beating that other kid. Kalani is going up against Stalker's daughter, Eva, and Maddie. I know she will win. Kalani is Abby's new star. Entry number 22, please give it up for Ava performing On My Way. I'm, gonna do it my own way. I'm worried at this point. Maddie's going against someone that's two years older than her, and that's a fabulous dancer. Please welcome to the stage Kalani performing Dance in the Shadow. Stepped out on that stage and looked like a million bucks. Felt good? Yeah. Good. You haven't done a solo in a long time. You better not be rusty out there. Give it up for Maddie performing the judgment. There is only love. <laughs> Once again, my student stepped on stage like she owned it. Fourth place. Entry number 21, Dance in the Shadow, Kailani. I'm completely shocked that Kailani placed fourth overall. And the third highest solo today, entry number 22, My Own Way, Ava. Third place, The Stalker's Kid. Is Maddie going to win this? or not. And the second highest solo today, entry number 23, The Judgment, Maddie. Maddie beat Kalani. Maddie's still my number one girl, but she's second. Look at this competition. It's a joke. Yeah. How did Ava beat Kalani? This is rigged, and I will say that. I do not think there's a setup. She wants to blame everyone else. Abby, be accountable 
for yourself. The group routine is entitled The Witches of East Canton. <laughs> Maddie, you bring light to the stage. You are the good witch. Me. You'll be portraying me. And the rest of you will be the evil. So I want to see your true witchiness come through. You can channel your moms. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Walton Peter Shady, contestant number 193, Wild Party. My dance just killed it. Mackenzie, oh my gosh, amazing. It's a happy moment for me. Performing the Witches of East Canton, this is the Abby Lee Dance Company. Out of the shadows, over the seas, under the water, you're lost in the tree. If we were going up against anybody else, I'd say we have this one in the bag. But we're going up against a team full of boys. It's in the judges' hands now. Second place overall junior age division small group goes to contestant number 193 Wild Party Candy Apples Dance Center. Well, honey, it's not your fault. I am in complete shock. Our dance was way better. I'm not standing around waiting to watch this woman gloat. I'm out of here. OK, we are just walking. We're not engaging. Ugh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, receiving our overall award, first place junior age division for small group level two, number 194, the Witches of East Canton. I seriously was not expecting that. I did not think that we were gonna pull out this win. Kathy, you're a wicked witch. And the house of Abby Lee just fell on you. Goodbye. Hi. For you to say, there's nothing more I can do, you're right. In a sense that you're batting up against a persona. I was so confident right. in my heart of hearts that, yeah, you know what? We did it this time. There's a lot of politics in judging. Right. So yeah. you had They're guaranteed if you to... had me and Travis Wall. And no kidding. Also, right. you know, no Nick kidding. Nick Lazzarini on the panel. Absolutely. They wouldn't have Which won. Which is what I said. Absolutely. They're young. They're new. They're hoping for a career someday as big as his. That's right. So what do they need to do? They need to, they need to stroke. Yeah. They need they to stroke. Stroking. That's right. Oh, I know. But in the meantime, you all are number two and you all are losers. Abby has the exposure behind her. She cavorts all over the countryside to every single competition she can drag her team to. Those judges know her. It's getting to be a little bit more than I can swallow. It's sad that they think that they're, they really think that they're as good as they yeah. are being. It's a false honor. Our next solo goes to Brady. One of my favorite all-time Broadway shows was Matthew Bourne's Swan Lake. So you are doing a rendition of The Black Swan. The last solo goes to Janina. Your solo is entitled Snowflake. This is about the relationship with your grandmother. She passed away right before your Broadway debut. During it. Oh, during it. 10 days in. <laughs> this is the lyrical routine that you wanted. What you told me you needed to win the It Dance. Up next, please welcome to the stage Brady with Swan Song. 
I'm really nervous because I really want this dance to be really memorable. This is my last solo, and I don't want to come off thinking that I could have done anything better. And I really want to make this savvy round. I'm really happy for Giannina, and I feel like she did her best that she could have possibly done, and I'm just really proud of her. She nailed it. Your second place, 12 to 14 soloists, Brady with Swan Song. When I hear Brady announce the second place, 100% I'm thinking that Giannina did not place, because her solo was not better than his, not even close, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say it. That was terrible. Hey, that was. I know, but oh it wasn't. Gosh, Mom. Her first place, 12 to 14 soloists is Giannina with Snowflake. That girl's the winner. The icing on the cake was beating Brady, the unbeatable boy that's going home because he's too good for the girls. Guys, pulled out first. Do you think that she was better than Brady? I think she was better than Brady. Do you think Abby thinks that she was better than Brady? I think Abby thinks she was better than Brady. It doesn't make sense. They weren't even comparable. No, he was like a Youth American Grand Prix, and she was good. I'm not saying she wasn't good. She was really good. She was good for a dance competition. It was the guy. Brady gets second. And then I thought, hmm, a male judge. Maybe there was a little bit of rivalry there, jealousy there. Wish I had the a program with the guys' bio. I just know that Brady is not a second place dancer. He's not the first to lose. Right. And it's all about like so. what the judges like in that day. It's their opinion. I was happy. You didn't see me. I wasn't here. <laughs> We're outside waiting to go back into the dressing room and we saw Miss Abby is bias and go to the judges' table. We're all thinking Ms. Abby is trying to change the scores. I'm trying to get the judges' names, bios, everything. Yeah, so Sean is from Miami. OK, well, don't worry about it. Email them to Gianna, Absolutely. like, some other time. It's fine. OK. So I'm, I'm getting the evil eye. I'm holding things up. Bye, Thank you, sweetheart. You. I knew it. The judge is from the same city as Brady. Maybe he was trained at a rival studio, and maybe he hates the studio Brady's from. Who knows? Okay. I think she, she is going to try and take my win away and give it to Brady because what? she has a favoritism towards Brady. No, just stop. Stop. On your win. Cut the It's OK. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Congratulations! So, Janina, you were the first overall high score. Solo, congratulations. That was great. Her challenge was to beat Hannah, and she beat her. Bad. She beat Brady. Brady, you were outstanding today. And I don't want to take anything away from Janina's win because she should be thrilled and wallow in it. But I did a little questioning. Guess where that male judge was from? Miami. How about them apples? So the male judge gave Brady less points than Gia because he's from Miami? I don't even know what the male judge is from Miami means. And we 
don't even know that the male judge gave him the lowest score. It just gave the final score. So maybe the girl judge gave him the lowest score. I just don't understand why we just don't celebrate who wins. You're the sore loser, not us. I'm not a sore loser. I could care less. If you didn't care, Obviously, we wouldn't be yeah. sitting here yeah. talking about it. I think that Gio, you really deserved the win, and I think you needed it. That's great. There you go. On top of the pyramid is Janina. I am not going to take anything away from that. That was a win. Oh, today. It was a victory today. for you. Today you're going to say that. But on Saturday, you might take it. The last thing I need is a delusional mother and delusional team members thinking that they should have beaten Brady. Excuse me. The judges thought she should win, and so she did. And instead of celebrating my kid, you came in and tried to discredit her and gave Brady some bogus ass story that the reason why he lost is because some judge was from Miami. Really? Really? Absolutely, really. There was definitely a conflict of interest. If you don't have it in black it and white, you shouldn't be times. saying anything. If you so don't when have I go out, shut up, Joey. Absolutely not. No. You're saying all this stuff, but you have no facts. Here's the results. Oh, let's look. You got the score? Joanne's like trying to prove that she knows more than Abby. Abby is not gonna like that. Nope. Not in her house. Look at this. Brady was scored higher by the male judge. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. You no, can look he right wasn't. here. You know what? If you're gonna dis dis disrespect my kid and take it all away, get the Sweetheart, pass. take this home and frame it, because it will never happen again. Oh, yeah? I will, and I will bring it back to you when no. it does. No, it yes, won't. I it's will. not going to happen. You're not going to be Brady. Janina, you did a nice job. Move on.